The research centres of the Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research, CGIAR, have been working since the 1970s to protect a 10,000-year-old process of selective breeding to create the domestic crops consumed today. Lima, Peru is the home of the International Potato Centre. We have under our guardianship the largest collection of potatoes in the world. While some argue that genetically modified foods are the answer to the food crisis, this gene bank is humankind's insurance. It houses over 4,000 natural varieties of potatoes developed by the Andean farmers. Each has different characteristics, such as heat and salinity tolerance. Some are adapted to short growing seasons and others to resisting diseases. For the last 10 years, potato production has increased at an average annual rate of 4.5% globally. Only wheat and maize are a bigger part of our diet. So the potato is critically important to food security, even in some unexpected places like Bangladesh. In 2007, Cyclone Cider hit Bangladesh and destroyed a rice crop worth 600 million US dollars. The price rose by 70%. 140 million people faced starvation. The potato came to the rescue. That year, Bangladeshi farmers produced nearly 5 million tonnes of potatoes, while rice had to be imported because of the damage caused by the cyclone. In 2008, former rice farmers increased their production to 8 million tonnes. Compared to the rice grown in these flood-prone plots, Farmers are finding that potatoes are more nutritious, faster growing, need less land and thrive in more difficult growing conditions than any other major crop. <laughs>